glowing hashtag bronze glow hashtag melanin popping hey sun tribe oh my god have you ever had a night where you just binge watch movies or documentaries and you ate chips and salsa or popcorn that has a lot of sodium and look this is a no-no. It's the weekend and I gotta look refreshed, lively. So you know what? It's time for me to pull out my secret weapon. Jail eye patches. <laughs> my selfies gotta look on point. Yes, right there. I really have to make sure that I look refreshed and beautiful and glowing. Hashtag bronze glow. Hashtag melanin popping. Hashtag I woke up like this. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna finish reading my morning affirmation and let these stay on for the next 30 minutes with my glasses. Let's try. Up level your vibratory contribution. Ooh. It is impossible for man to conceal himself in every act, word, or gesture. He stands revealed as he is and not as he would have himself appear to be from the universe Nothing is or can be hidden. Ooh. 40 Day Mind Soul Feast. This is one of my favorite books and feels like this is tightened and ready to go. Oh my God, like I can feel like the inflammation and the puffiness in my eyes is drawing out. Like I feel it like sucking in. Something is happening and there's some kind of, you know. This one has aloe in it. It's sulfate and paraben free. So something is going on. Get ready for the weekend. Oh yes. Okay, now that I'm up, I have to get myself together. And so I have some moisturizer for my face um, that has a slight SPF in it. I use cocoa butter on my lips. I have my brushes and some Sephora. I'll be mixing my Sephora eyeshadow with my Kylie Jenner with my Kylie eyeshadow and just keeping it all simple I love bare minerals bronze highlighter where can I go without my bronze highlighter you know sometimes I don't have makeup on but I do have my bronze highlighter like that is one thing that I do not go without is even though I wear a lot of black a lot of you know um, tone on tone colors I want my face to pop and look fresh so I'm gonna change my clothes and get my tea right now why, why is that my teapot I don't hear my teapot but I'm gonna get me some uh, I'm gonna get me some tea and wash this off of my face and I'll be right back Okay, my tea is ready. My daughter bought me this cup. I love this cup. Gonna start by putting some foundation on. I like putting the foundation on my hand. Even though I'm gonna use a primer, I'm gonna have to take this off in a minute. <laughs> Cause I don't, the last thing I want is lines on my forehead, right? The face and neck. <laughs> Definitely the face and neck. Around the ears, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I take my brush and I just make sure that I really get in the creases, you know? Of my skin around here. I could actually use a cover up too, but I kind of wanna, I wanted to keep it as natural as possible. And um, I could use a cover up, but I don't feel like using a cover up today.
yeah, that helps with the lines, getting in that skin. Now I have been blessed with naturally, you know, um, arched eyebrows already, but they're thin because I highlight them all the time. Well, not highlight, but I lighten them because my natural hair color is black. So my eyebrows actually are very jet black too, but you can't tell because I'm using my fl flat brush. I lighten them, highlight them. So I'm just filling in right here. Just a little bit. And to make it look natural, I'm using my now for my eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. I'm gonna just put some on my hand and go around my eyes with it. And I do a lot of things with my fingertips because when you are a certain age like myself, and I have very moist skin. I have very, um, I guess you could say, I have a, I don't have really combination skin. My skin is normal to oil, oily. Sometimes it's dry, but mostly normal to oily. So as you get older, the fine lines in your you know, uh, eye, eye area become more noticeable. So in order to get into those little creases in my eyelid, I definitely would like to use my hand to help. And I just put that on my entire brow area. See, it's kind of highlighted. I like it already because I like this particular one because it kind of already has some you know, shimmer to it already. Now for the eyeshadow. I'm going to start with my blending, my blending brush. Because my eyes are like a brownish hazel red, they kind of change colors between three different colors sometimes. So I love the brown colors and the matte um, reddish brown colors. So I'm going to use a little, actually I'm gonna use this darker, darker brown. It's a little reddish brown color. And even though I'm gonna use my blending brush, and just blend it all in. Some people like to put on one eye at a time, but I think I like putting on here you know I kind of like this color right here and this color right here so I like to blend a little bit of both I'm just gonna put it in the creases right here Set it in the crease. Mm -hmm. I am mad at my bags right now. I don't know if that stuff that I bought worked or not. Well, I can tell it doesn't work. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to glamour up my eyes. 
put the more yellow one, just a little bit. All right, just stab it on. I like it. All right, just stab it on and Now I'm going to take um, a little bit of this red, the reddish brown one. I kind of like that color a lot. And use it as my mid color to blend these two together a little bit. Right there. Lightly taking my brush and just to blend. Just a little. Blend the lines out. Mm -hmm. Just blend the lines out slightly. underneath my eye a little bit you know I just take a cross and go underneath my eye that way it looks more intense I'm it. That. I am like too disappointed in that product if you guys have some suggestions for under eye gel patches what brands to use please let a sister know holla at a sister because that one i feel like didn't work last time i eat salt eyeshadow brush and go into my brow line a little bit and i'm gonna blend that out that's just too dark for me. My eyebrows make it a little bit more intense because they're dark. And um, this is why I lighten them to soften my eyebrows. So, And I clean off my brush as I go too so that I won't cross my, um, you know, stuff. Cross everything together. Now I to my Derma Blend brush, my Beauty Blender. So I'm just gonna go on the out sides of my face and right here a little bit. I typically don't always line my lips, so I am going to use a matte like brown lipstick and some this is so cute right <laughs> some lip gloss lip gloss popping lip gloss popping okay Now, I don't know what my hair looking like under this. Hopefully it's in place. And I definitely wanted that highlighter to pop so that you can pay less attention to the bags under my eyes. I know I ain't the only one with bags under my eyes, am I? <laughs> and I did. Let's put a little bit more highlighter on the, on the forehead too, right? Highlighter on the forehead helps to. Okay, so what do you think? I'm 
not too much right still on the natural side just a little overall highlighting you know as you get older especially because I'll be 50 in two months three months in three months actually in two and a half months I'll be 50 I definitely don't want to look like I'm hiding my face I definitely wanted to look like I put some effort into my look you know thank you for joining me like comment subscribe and I'll talk to you soon have a great afternoon, evening, day, peace.